TJ, we haven't seen you at a press conference in a bit since your last win. So what brings you to Jacksonville? Is this solely the title fight you want to be cage side for? Yeah, man. I'm uh, obviously very interested in that uh, co-main event. Um, you know, I'm planning on fighting that winner, so uh, it's got me intrigued to watch and see how it's going to go down. And obviously after your last fight, a lot of, I think it was the knee and you had a couple other procedures. So physically, how are you feeling right now? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize, like standing in the cage, I was like, yeah, I want to fight as soon as possible. I didn't realize how bad I messed my knee up. Like I knew it hurt. Um, and then I had to go into surgery four days later, um, and I, you know, did a good job messing it up. Um, so I had a surgery what, that July 29th, and then I actually just had to get it cleaned out again three weeks ago. But it was just a scope, so in another three weeks I should be back to, to going going full goes again. So outside of training, is there any timetable fans can expect you to actually be able to accept a fight in the octagon? Yeah, I'll be ready when these guys are ready to fight again. You know, I mean, everyone comes out of that cage healthy. Um, you know, I always can kind of do the math of when someone's going to fight again, you know, so I think you know, September, October would be perfect for me anyways. And then all of this turmoil at the top with the illegal knee and then the interim fight, uh, Sterling having to get the surgery or anything, like for you specifically, it was a little bit of a blessing in disguise because all of this is happening and you still can't fight because of injuries and so on and so forth, so the timing actually does work out for you. Yeah, him bailing out of the fight did, right, having to get the next surgery, but um, the illegal knee was kind of bad timing for me because I wanted to come back and fight for the belt right after my suspension, right, so I was eagerly watching that fight and that was before I lined up Sanhagen and then that happened so I knew I needed to fight the next best guy right like I want to get right in line and so Sanhagen was that guy. TJ has the UFC told you that that you're next in line or, or is this just something that like you, you want has there been any conversations? I mean it's the only thing that makes sense the biggest fight um, you know there's been, been some hinting at it but nothing's ever guaranteed right we, we know that in this sport. Yeah and uh, regarding your shoulder um, how do you feel? Like, do you, do you feel like much better than, than before? Was this like a nagging injury that you had? My shoulder? Yeah. I had shoulder. I had shoulder surgery in nineteen. But I had. I just had knee surgery. Well, it was a knee surgery. My bad. Yeah. yeah. For my, like, I blew my knee out my last fight. The mm -hmm. the last ten seconds of that first round, I completely blew my knee out. So I got surgery from that, and then I uh, had to get it cleaned out again three weeks ago to get all the scar tissue out of there. It was. Uh, I was getting back to work, being active, helping one on Chaletta get for his ready for his fight. And my knee just kept blowing up, losing some range of motion. So the doctor had to go back in there and clean it up. Yeah. How frustrating has it been to sort of sit, sit back and, and watch the division unfold, right? Because you were coming off a, a pretty lengthy suspension as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, it is and it isn't. I mean, I'm super busy now with life outside the cage. I got, you know, multiple businesses I'm working for and running and then, uh, you know, being a father. So the thing that does suck is not being just active in general, having to, uh, hurt wheel and my knee hurt right um but timing's working out perfectly you know we'll get my belt back and uh feel good to be back on top yeah and i know you're angling a, a title fight but at least just from a fan perspective like i know fans are dying to watch you fight jose aldo at some yeah. point just because he's a legend and mm -hmm. you guys are very exciting strikers um now that he's at 135 have you ever thought about potentially crossing paths with him and is that something that you'd like that's a, it's a very exciting fight for me you know i've always uh you know, I was fighting Burrell. I've been a big fan of Aldo for a long time and, you know, watched Uriah fight Aldo and Mendez fight Aldo, so I helped a lot of guys get ready for him. been a big fan of him for a long time. Um, but his, his time will come. I'll get my belt back, and I think that'd be a great title defense. Yeah. What have you made of uh, this version that we've seen at 135? Um, you know, at first I was a little worried for him, right? When he first cut the weight, um, I didn't think he looked, you know, as powerful and as good, but he's definitely turned around. He's been looking good. You know, he, uh, I think he's turned it into a lifestyle, keeping himself a little bit lower weight now. It makes the weight drop a little bit easier because I know when I saw his face the first time he made 35s, what I looked like at 25s. You know, I just knew there was probably yeah. death for him, you know. So, but he's looking a lot better now. Yeah. And just real quick, um, regarding 125, that's, that's no. close, right? Never yeah. again. I mean, that's, that's why I fucked up, man. I mean, yeah. there's no way. I mean, my body was dying. You know, it was telling me that I couldn't do it. You know, I got below 4% body fat. Yeah. I mean, I, I see pictures of myself now. I thought it looked good at the time, right? But I see pictures of myself now. I looked like a crackhead. It was disgusting. Yeah. Do you regret going down? Um, you know, I, I do and I don't, right? I knew it was a lot of work. But, yeah, I mean, I definitely regret it because I wouldn't have been sitting out for two years, you know? Yeah. So. Thank you, TJ. Yeah. TJ over here. Yeah. Obviously, being here in Jacksonville, we got the fans. They seem to be into everything that's been going on all week. They, the fans inside the arena, they got here early. There's been a big buzz in the air. Does that make the itch to get back? Is it a little bit bigger now for you? Like, are you getting a little more hyped? I know you're three weeks away before you can kind of go back to full go, but did just being here this week kind of ramp things up for you? Yeah, this is my second live event now since the pandemic. I went to the Anaheim card as well, and it uh, feels good to... 
I just hear the crowd and, you know, not to take the pictures with the fans and do the interactions and stuff. I mean, you really makes you understand why fighting in front of millions of people is so much fun, right? You get to feel that energy. So, yeah, it definitely gives you a little bit more of that itch, and it's just exciting to be a part of it again. In terms of the fight tonight, do you have a preference on who, who you would like to fight? Not just from, like, a, a trash-talking perspective or anything like that. It's all respect, but... Just from a competitive standpoint, is there one guy that, that you would prefer to fight over the other? Because you may have to fight both of them at some point, but yeah. just for your next one. I'd prefer Jan. You know, I think he's the, the better of the fighter. You know, he's um, more dangerous. He's better. He's just all around is better for my legacy to go out there and beat Peter Jan, right? You never know what's going to happen tonight. I highly think that Jan's going to win, and I think that's the, the best fight to make for me. And then last thing for me. Since your absence and then the one fight, this division has gotten deeper and stronger, a lot of young up-and-comers. Yeah. How hungry does that make you knowing that? I mean, listen, the, you, you got the top five, the top ten that are very hungry, but yeah. now you got guys that are unranked and are on great streaks on the way up. For the next five, six years, this division is going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, it's a very stacked division. It, it felt good to come back and beat uh, one of the best on one leg. So I know that I still got it, right? I'm still in the best. I'm, st I'm still the best in the weight class, and I'm, I'm back to prove it.